Well, this Friday marks the 50th anniversary of one of the most important moments in American history, the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. The JT Street shows us how a downtown attraction has literally built itself a place in that history on Streets Corner. Visitors at Ripley's Believe It or Not go to see the unexpected, from the world's largest tire to whatever this is, to Buell Frazier's 1954 Chevy. They look at this car and they're saying, why is this car here? What's the deal with this car? Yeah, what's the deal, early 2000s Dean Kane? The next morning, Buell drove his friend and his package to work, as usual. The destination? The Texas School Book Depository. Buell's neighbor, Lee Harvey Oswald. It is an absolutely gigantic piece of history. So gigantic that when Ripley's brought the car to San Antonio in 2008, they had to rebuild their museum around it. It's something that I learned about in school, and then one day I come to work and it's sitting in my building. And when Ruben Vasquez saw it, like most visitors, the first thing he did was peek inside. It's old. When they look inside the car, I think they're trying to imagine people in it. I think they're trying to imagine Lee Harvey Oswald sitting in there with his buddy. As for Oswald's buddy, Buell, the bill of sale on the vehicle shows that he was so embarrassed that he drove Oswald to the assassination site that he sold the vehicle for $10. Unbelievable. Believe it. In addition to the car, Ripley's downtown has other almost unbelievable JFK memorabilia on display, from a piece of President Kennedy's hair to a bullet fired by Jack Ruby when he killed Lee Harvey Oswald even Oswald's toe tag from the Parkland Hospital morgue in Dallas. If you'd like to share your history on Streets Corner, you can send me your story ideas on Twitter at Streets Corner or like us at Facebook.com slash Streets Corner. JT Street, Fox News at 9.